Good morning, Practical Rebels. Welcome to your Saturday morning, early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, and we have an awesome card today, as always. And let's just take a few breaths to settle into right here, right now. If you want to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Good morning, Mel. Letting your shoulders drop, just wiggling a little bit, getting fully engaged with your body, ready to take in this information and run with it for today. So we have the Soul Coaching Deck by Denise Lynn, what your soul wants you to know. And when I, I was doing my own meditation prior to this, good morning, Carolyn, welcome. Looks like someone else. Oh, there's Cindy. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Um, I, right before this, I was doing my own meditation. Good morning, Judy. Glad you're here. And it looks like someone else has popped in and I missed you. Glad you're all here, though. Um, and again, I believe who's ever here is meant to hear this card. And you're going to laugh. I think you're going to laugh. Here we go again. Good morning, Peggy. Welcome, welcome. So I was doing my own meditation. Um, I'm doing the Deepak Oprah Des Desire and Destiny meditation, a 21-day meditation thing. And today's was Confident Me. Confident Me. And what we've been getting a lot lately is about releasing into the process, being in flow, right? So today's card, <laughs> right on theme, Surrender. Surrender, surrender. And the, not in the surrender Dorothy, ha 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 way, but more in the move into flow way, right? The, the mantra is, all is well, I surrender to my inner guidance. All is well, I surrender to my inner guidance. You know what? I just got to hit on that one. Before I even read the card to you, let's do some tapping. So I want you to tap the baby finger aspects of your hands together. You can just do one side if you want. They call it the karate chop spot. I like doing both. Might as well get a lot of bang for my buck. Good morning, Lucy. We're going to do a little tapping before we jump into the card reading. So just like this, and we're going to do three setup statements, and then we'll go. So I'm going to say it, and then you repeat it out loud if possible, okay? Even though I tend to want control, I still love and accept myself. Even though surrender is a foreign concept to me, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I don't know who I will be when I surrender, I'm going to try it anyway. Okay, inside corner of the eyebrows. If you have glasses on, you might want to take them off. I'm going to leave mine on just because then if I decide to read something off the screen, I can see it. So, first thing I want you to say is control. Outside corner of the eyes. I like to have control. Under the eyes. I like to run my own show. Good morning, Diane. We're doing some tapping this morning under the nose. But I know Bonnie has told me under the mouth, that only 5% of us is really controlling anything. Collarbone. What about that other 95%? Under the arms, like where the bra strap runs across, I call this the monkey. Control. Around the crown of the head. What if I chose to surrender? Inside corner of the eyebrows. What if I let go of all I really don't control? Beside the eyes, what if I trusted the universe to guide me? Under the eyes, what if I viewed everything that happens under the nose as happening for me? Under the mouth instead of to me? Collarbone. What if it's all for my own growth? Under the arms. And what if as I quit fighting it, around the crown of the head, and flow with it, inside corner of the eyebrows, everything gets easier. Outside corner of the eyes, everything makes sense. 
under the eyes, I'm going to surrender. Under the nose, I choose to let go. Under the mouth, I choose to follow the guidance. Collarbone, I choose to still myself. Under the arms, I allow. And around the crown of the head, I am in flow. Nice deep breath in. Let it go. All right, now let's see what our card has to tell us. Surrender. And it says, card meaning, let go and let God. All is well. You don't have to do it all alone. I think that's the illusion and delusion that most Americans have. Fierce independence, I have to do it by myself, I can't ask for help, blah, blah, blah. All of that has some upsides, but it also has some pretty significant downsides. So let's see what we get here. Release negative thoughts about yourself, for your life is divinely guided. Your soul wants you to know Letting go can heal the need to be in control. Ding, ding, ding. The stress of unfulfilled expectations. Byron Katie talks about that in terms of letting go of expectations, let of, letting go of any attachment to any particular outcome, and just being with what is. The anguish of demanding how things should be and the tension of wanting others to act in particular ways. These things constantly lead to disappointment and unhappiness. Although there's a time to hold on as if your life depended on it, there's also a moment to just let go. Now is the time to surrender. Remember that you aren't yielding to a force outside yourself. This is key. This is huge. You're not yielding to a force outside yourself. You're yielding to your soul. That inner guidance. It's it's the wise part of ourselves giving us those nudges. By releasing your hold, you're, you're allowing the creative forces of the universe to spiral through you. And know that those creative forces, we're so arrogant. We like to think we know it all. We got all the answers, blah, blah, blah. Our minds can only conceive of so much. They're amazing instruments, but they can only conceive of so much. And there's so much more. Think about, I mean, we've got examples of that. Dogs hear things we don't hear. Um, there's animals who have an acute sense of smell that's better than ours. There's animals that see eagles much more clearly than we do. If we're willing to acknowledge that those animals have senses that are more highly functioning than ours, why wouldn't we understand that the universe has capabilities way beyond what we do? We are amazing. We are magical. But... The universe is capable of so much more. When we get out of its way, when we get trying to control it, all right? You're permitting the creator to give you direction and inspiration. You don't have to do it all by yourself. Help is all around you. Open your heart and let it in. And actually, help is all within you. Open your heart and let it out. <laughs> and our quote is, the affirmation is, all is well. Thank you, Cindy, for putting this up. I surrender to my inner guidance. I surrender to my inner guidance. And again, just asking ourselves the question, what do I need to know? What am I pretending not to know? What is my body telling me? Again, I love that practice of tuning into my body, paying attention to what am I feeling? Okay, so I'm feeling some tension right about the lower rib level now. So I'm going to breathe into that. So I want you to do that right now. Body scan, head to toe. Any areas of discomfort, note them. Then I want you to pick one of them. Close your eyes, not if you're driving, but close your eyes and breathe into that area. With curiosity, no expectations for what you'll find there. Just curiosity. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder what this part of my body with this little bit of discomfort has to tell me. I choose to listen and breathe.
What's your guidance for today? Mine is the let go. That hanging on, that tightness in my back is all about trying to engineer things, make things happen, have things happen faster, make sure I'm doing my due diligence, doing my job. And actually the confident me meditation that I did today talked about that, talked about how we have been trained to believe that everything worthwhile has to be difficult, it has to be hard, it has to be laborious, the sweat of our brow, 70 hour work weeks, all that crap. And Deepak was making the point that that's not any more true than anything else is true. What do we choose to believe? We believe um, money, success, what we're looking for comes to us easily and simply, it will, it will. But we've got to get that belief system out of our subconscious mind that it has to be arduous and hard work and all that stuff, okay? So surrender, surrender, surrender. All is well, I surrender to my inner guidance. I'd like you to continue throughout the course of today to take some time to surrender, just episodic little surrenders and see what you notice. Have an awesome day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, you are capable of far more than you think you are, including surrendering. Bye-bye.